Hi, it's Greg from the Packet Pushers. Today, I want to do is give you a couple of tips about using Safari in reader mode on Mac OS. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I spend an awful lot of time reading websites, reading research papers, and the challenge is that quite often reading web pages is quite difficult. Let me show you what I mean. One of the challenges when reading articles from websites like this is that there's just so much clutter going on. Like, look at all this stuff here. The title's all fancy. There's ads. There's sidebars and all this sort of... And there's these popovers down the bottom that happen all the time. And increasingly, what I'm finding is that they just get in the way. In the Mac OS in Safari, you have to be using the Safari browser. Up here, this little icon will appear when it's possible. And you can just click it. And when you're in dark mode, it's dark. And then you just takes that line of text from out of the center. This is... I find much easier to read than you think. Now, you haven't got any of the Chrome. You've just got the words. And if anything's gone wrong, just click this button and go back. Now, you can also just go View, um, Show Reader, which is Shift-Command-R, and you can switch between the two using a keyboard shortcut. Now, that's pretty great, um, but let me show you a few more. This here is a web page which has just got some pretty plain text. It looks like some hand-coded HTML. Uh, unfortunately, that's I'm finding that a little difficult to read on the big screen in front of me, and it's not working. And again, if I select this, now I've got a readable. What's very useful here is that this is the same format and the same layout as I was reading before. And I think that mentally it's easier to read this because it reads the same. It's like a textbook. And when you go to a textbook and you've got the same fonts and the same layout and the same structure, I find that consuming this media is, is much more useful. So I can click out of that, see what if there's anything in here. Um, it, this doesn't remove any of the content, although sometimes certain bits of Chrome get lost. Let's check out another web page just to show you what this is. This is a standard blog. It's got the usual clutter again. This font's very small, but more importantly here, they've got gray on a white background. I find it very difficult to read this. A quick click, and now you can see I've got a fairly easy page to read. Now, of course, there are pages which don't support this. This is the Packer Pushers homepage, and this has got some fairly arcane bits of Chrome as we try to get the homepage to be meaningful to everybody. And what you won't see is up here is there's no reader icon for you to look at. And that's okay, because if you go down into any of the, say if you go to the blogs page, say where the archives are, and click on those, once you're actually into the archives, now you can just read this without all the Chrome removed and you don't have any distractions. What I wanted to show you here is just ways of consuming information smoother, slicker. Uh, I think one of the big parts about a work life in technology is that you have to keep up. And sometimes absorbing information needs to be done in ways that make it easy to get into your head. And I find as I'm getting older, I find it harder to read and to study. I'm more distracted or more whatever. Maybe that's just something that is personal to me. But I find that using reader mode, taking away the distractions, improves my ability to read. But the consistency of the data that's on the page also helps me to just focus on the reading and thinking about the content and not being distracted by all of the visual clutter or the chrome, as I've called it, all the way through this article. I hope this video has been useful for you. Thanks for listening to this video from the Packet Pushers and from me, Greg Farrow. And if you have been watching, uh, please stay, maybe leave a thumbs up or a like, leave a comment or uh, follow up with our podcast on the Packet Pushers. Thanks.